Welcome to the EG Media Show, where we bring you weekly current events in the world of entertainment. We are the source for you to get your movie scoops, television series, and any other media we can gain insights to bring you. We thank you for taking the time to join us weekly, and we will always make sure to give you nothing but the best in the latest news, and now your host Mike, or as we like to call him Mr. Review. What's up, guys? Yeah, well, welcome back for another show. Uh, took a week off last week, had a couple of things I needed to do, but uh, we're back to it. Uh, glad you could join us today. We've got a lot of things to talk about. Uh, we got a lot of interesting topics. We're going to briefly go over uh, entertainment news, like we usually do. Um, this one's going to be a short one. I believe we're going to do about five minutes today, just kind of catch up, and just kind of do some... Uh, entertainment, do a couple of movie topics, and then we'll go over some uh, some TV news, and then we'll wrap it up real quick. So, uh, that being said, uh, I don't know if you folks got a chance to go out and see it, but uh, I was able to go see uh, Toy Story 4. Uh, really good movie, really cool. Uh, I guess that's the, uh, so far, they say it's going to be the culmination of the uh, series, hopefully not. I mean, uh, I've enjoyed the, uh, the Toy Story saga. Looks like it's doing real good at the box office. Uh, it's killing Child's Play because they re-released the uh, Child's Play uh, storyline. Uh, I think that one's been done to death. But uh, I guess they they uh, they still wanna they still wanna play that one out. Well, uh, Toy Story. You know, briefly takes takes hold in a in a major scene where all the characters are going to be uh, fighting in a uh, carnival, traveling carnival, which is pretty funny. Uh, you know, by the way, spoiler spoiler alert ahead. <laughs> um, so there, you know, the 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 whole storyline takes takes effect in a traveling carnival, and uh, Woody. This is kind of a uh, this is kind of a uh, journey. For uh, Woody, uh, Woody's uh, becoming, you know, a toy that's not really that dependent on uh, their child anymore. He's looking for a new, new, uh, you know, new horizons and new, new adventures. Really good movie. I, I think you folks should uh, check it out. Go out and see it. Uh, we move on to another subject matter. J.J. Uh, Abrams and his son Henry Abrams are going to be. Uh, doing a comic book series kind of that falls in line with the uh, original uh, Spider-Man series that was with the uh, the, uh, Spider-Man movies Uh, pretty interesting I think you should guys check that out Uh, that should be released uh, sometime in the next uh, month or so Uh, I'd be looking out for that I think that'd be a good storyline uh, also, <clears throat> real briefly touch upon uh, Avengers Endgame. You know, I was going to kind of talk about what the fates of Captain America and Gamora are. Um, the Russos have been uh, the Russos have been uh, recorded as saying that uh, Captain America, going back in time with uh, Peggy, actually created an alternative or alternate universe uh, or alternate reality. Uh, timeline <clears throat> and then when he returned at the end of the movie he used some of the pim particles to come back to our main timeline so that's the way it was explained by the Russo brothers as far as how that worked out and how Cap was able to return in the future um, me personally I think the way they explained the whole time travel series or time traveling series was a little bit uh, mixed up in my opinion it wasn't explained very clearly. Uh, Gamora, I believe Gamora is going to be uh, found in the Guardians of the Galaxy Part 3. I think that character uh, needs, you know, obviously is going to be in the series. They're not going to get rid of her. Um, I think they're going to bring her back, and and she's a very good character. I I personally like her uh, to be back. Um, Going on to the movies uh, area, of the uh, uh, 
touch upon uh, the movies, as far as the upcoming movies, uh, I'd like to uh, touch upon uh, Spider-Man Far From Home again a little bit and uh, kind of elaborate as far as what's going on with the uh, some of the rumors floating around with the uh, post-credit scenes and or the tie-in to other movies. Uh, I believe that there's going to be some kind of uh, tie-in to Tony Stark. Uh, I'm, you know, again, this is my theory. Uh, don't hold me to it. I believe that there, there's going to be some kind of, you know, AI they may introduce or some kind of uh, Easter egg they may introduce to, to maybe re-release or you know, sometime in the future, uh, open the door to a uh, artificial intelligence version of Tony Stark, which kind of was done in the comic books uh, for a while. I think that's that would be a good way to go and possibly open the door to have Tony Stark you know as a mentor to the rest of the teams or upcoming movies for other characters I think that would be a, I think that would be a good idea so going from uh, the movies to uh, TV this week I think I just wanted to touch upon one of my favorite uh, series uh, that was that was on television. Now it's on uh, uh, DC's uh, you know channel. Uh, that that would be Young Justice. Um, I think the I think the Young Justice uh, writing has been one of the better uh, written series that has ever come to television or entertainment. Uh, it's too bad that the DC universe of movies doesn't take. Uh, you know, pointers from the Young Justice storylines. Uh, just briefly touch upon some of the moments uh, that I feel were some of the top areas um, that they, uh, you know, that they released in this uh, ongoing series. So some of the uh, some of the greater details of Young Justice's better uh, better moments would be from Batman resigning. Um, obviously, he had an agenda later, a uh, secret mission that I don't want to give away and spoil, uh, to a updated version of Cyborg, Cyborg's origin story, which was, I, I thought was pretty cool. Uh, some of the art and some of the storylines in this series are amazing, uh, just my opinion. So, uh, funny, I was saying this was going to be a short one, uh, coming up on eight minutes here. Uh, just wanted to uh, let you folks know that next week we're going to go on a you know regular show. Uh, we're going to go back to uh, you know current entertainment events, movies, and uh, shows, TV shows coming up. Well, thanks again for joining. If you like what you hear, please like, share, subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can get uh, notifications about the show. And uh, thank you again. Uh, please join us next week. Thank you.